Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Sunday, November 21st, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number two. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius and or a Pisces throughout the month of February. We could see the High Priestess card kick in. I am also seeing like the Two of Swords, possibly the Two of Cups or the Two of Wands as well. Power of number 10. Yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Libra at the earlier part of October. However, we could see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. So some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Leo, and or another Scorpio such as yourself. We may even see the Ten of Swords, possibly even the Ten of Cups and or Ten of Pentacles. Power of number seven. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancerian and or a Leo throughout the month of July. We could see the Chariot card make its presence known. Looks like we are going to the power of number 19. We could also see the Justice card, the Star card, the Sun card, the Hanged Man card, and or the Fool card. Possibly Judgment and or the World card. Okay. Going to the power of number 19. Number 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay. And out of that power of number 19, we could also see the Hermit card with the number 9. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of September as well. Trusted Ancestors, what is going on with Scorpio's specific person for the day commencing for Sunday, November 21st, 2021, please? What is going on in their energy towards Scorpio? Or what is going on in their environment right now? Mm, the Queen of Wands. Okay. A lot of variable messages with this Queen of Wands. <clears throat> this could be a karmic person. The karmic that they're dealing with for some of them. This could be a mother figure. This can also be the attraction that they still have for you, Scorpio. Male or female does not matter. <clears throat> they also see you possibly, if they have access to your social media platforms, they may also see you leveling up or you're taking beautiful selfie photos of yourself as well, Scorpio, for some of you. Some of them are checking you out on Instagram. Possibly Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. Mm -hmm. We'll see how the Queen of Wands is coming into play, Scorpio. I feel like this person feels or sees that you are leveling up. Trusted Ancestors, why is Scorpio's person coming in like the Queen of Wands? What's up with this? It could definitely be about a third party situation going on. And it could also be too, because of their attraction that they still have for you, Scorpio, that they still want to come together and or meet up with you. They may want to ask you out on a date or take you out for a drink, something like that. You never know. Ooh. 
somebody here is wanting to get out of some kind of murky situation and or leave the third party. Because this person's back in the Six of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy to be a little bit more specific, has his back turned away from the Three of Cups. Turned away from a third party situation. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody I feel became single or is on the verge of becoming single within the next three to nine days, possibly. Could take up to three months for some of them. Or the next six weeks. Could be right before the holidays, right before Christmas time and or New Year's or right after New Year's that this person will become single. Show me the Nine of Pentacles, please, trusted ancestors. They may even be catching you on social media for some of them, Scorpio, that have still can visually see what's going on in your world. Maybe you've been posting that you've been going out, maybe going out with guy friends, girlfriends, hanging out with family members, etc., looking all on the fleek, okay? Looking on fleek, looking on the fly, and leveling up. A lot of you guys are working in on your finances, your career right now, still trying to find your life's highest purpose or what you feel you're meant to do, Scorpio. What is this action of the Six of Swords in regards to Scorpio's person? Yeah, somebody's getting away from some kind of conflict and or competition or they could be in argumentative states of conversation with this third party. Clarify the Five of Swords, please, trusted ancestors. Ooh, the emperor, male or female, it doesn't matter. They could be trying to get away more specifically from an Aries or a Taurus, more specifically. It doesn't really matter, but somebody here is controlling, domineering, manipulating, and or there could be a situation that's going on, whether this is you or your specific person, <clears throat> Scorpio, that it could be trying to get away from a parental figure or turn their back on family members. This is from the Emperor. Yeah. Three of Pentacles is coming up in the reverse. So in the upright, it means teamwork and collaboration, coming together, wanting to grow, wanting to build something. But somebody's saying, I can't go for that. I just heard hollow notes. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. I can't go for that, can't go for that, can't go for that. Oh, you guys know you love that song. Okay. <laughs> I can't go for that. Mm -mm. Somebody here is done. It feels like somebody here is done or they're done with the pettiness or they're done with this third party. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, yeah, Scorpio, look it. Your person's all up in their head still. Nine of Swords. Let's see what the Queen of Wands is bringing in. The Sun card. I did say we could see the Sun card. We did shuffle to the power of number 19. This person is wanting to have a new beginning here. And I'm also feeling that they do want to be flirtatious with you, Scorpio, when they reach out. They could be wondering what you're up to. Mm. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the Sun card. Some of you guys are dealing with them hardcore Leos. Leo, Leo, Leo energy. Yeah. See, somebody's want, I told you, they want to come in with some kind of flirtatious message. Mm-hmm. They could be telling you that they're not dealing with somebody specifically. They're in love with you, King of Cups. This is from the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is the wounded warrior and or licking their wounds, Scorpio. Let's see why. Oh, yeah. Some, 
Man, I just heard Pat Benatar's Love is a Battlefield. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Whoever they're dealing with, uh-uh, somebody is, I can't go for that. I can't go for that. They can't go for that with whoever, whatever this third party is. And yet at the same time, it's like I'm seeing the energy in the opposite direction too with the Ace of Cups because they're, they're gearing up to come forward and offer you a major cup of love here or to tell you they're done. They're done with the competition. Yeah, somebody here has released and or dropped their burdens or they're get gearing up to drop the burdens with whoever this third party is, etc. Wow, Wheel of Fortune, I did say that that could come up. We rolled the number 10 on the dice, okay? What goes around comes around. Somebody's learned some major karmic lessons and or cycle here. Like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or another Scorpio, such as yourself. Your person could have the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name or her name, etc. Give me one more message from this Knight of Cups, this communicator card from Scorpio's person unto them. Wow, they're getting out of some massive confusion, delusional energy. Looks like their choices and options have run out, Scorpio. Their cup has run dry. Except for you. Your cup is always full, Scorpio, right? It's not half empty. It's not half full. Nope. <clears throat> we manifest for the best. Mm-hmm. Somebody is leaving the confusion, delusional energy. Somebody's not giving any more time or energy to a person, place, or thing, or situation, or making any form of investment. And whoever, whatever this Queen of Wands, with this third party energy going on here. Message from the Seven of Cups in reverse. I have to see this. Let's see. Two. Yeah, looks like somebody's going to get turned down, Scorpio. Your person's not going to be making a major offer unto this third party. Mmm, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming in as well. Let's see. Yeah, they're done with the arguments. They're done with the pettiness. They're done with the BS. It could feel, honestly, okay, a couple variable messages, five of wands in the reverse, okay? So some of them are getting out of emotional conflict, okay? They're going to come forward. They're going to be very flirtatious. They're going to say, hey, what's up? What's going on? I haven't talked to you in a while, blah, 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 okay? Or they can send you some sexy random message just to capture your attention, Scorpio. So be on the lookout. They could start to open up to you, Scorpio, about this person that they've been dealing with. They are thinking about that. They're thinking about that conversation with you. Hanged man in the reverse. Or I'm sorry, hanged man not in the reverse, in the upright. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, more specifically. Show me the five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody that they could have went back to from the past, and it didn't work out. And it's not working out, okay? But I also do feel that they are coming in towards you as well because of that Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups came up in the upright, okay? So they are not, despite appearances or whatever you see on a social media platform, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled that just because you see them with this other person that everything is honky-dory. No, it's not. Don't believe it all. Don't believe it. No, because there's conflict. I got conflict not once but twice. And somebody trying to get out of conflict and somebody does not want to make a certain situation work out. 
with whoever, whatever the Queen of Wands and or the Emperor is. Show me a message from the Nine of Pentacles, please. Yeah. They might have found out something about this third party being sneaky. There could have been deception. There could have been cheating. Your person could have ended up being in a third party themselves or whoever they were dealing with. Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck. There you are, Scorpio. Male or female, doesn't matter. They are heavily in love with you. And this energy is piling and it's building up on them. Mm-hmm. And the saga continues. Oh, yeah. This person, I feel, either caught this other person that they were dealing with in a third party. <clears throat> they could have thought that this person was single and they weren't. Show me the show me the deception, please. Through the Seven of Swords. What was the deception? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could have still been married. If your person went to go be off with somebody, they could have found out that this person is still married. And could have been having an affair somewhere else. Show me the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody somebody got played. Somebody got played. That Wheel of Fortune, what goes around, comes around. Knight of Wands, somebody was in and out with them. They might have tried to make an offer or a gesture to this person. But they're like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Adios. Adios. Because I have two, look at, I have two knights that are in the opposite direction. Somebody could have been trying to make an offer, meaning your person unto the third party, but found out that there was somebody else. That there was a third party. This person might have also found out, too, that that third party was dealing with somebody younger than them as well. I'm hearing that from Spirit. Message from the Knight of Pentacles. Rapid fire communication. Somebody could be coming in from a great distance, Scorpio, or somebody's going to instantly message you. What is this? Yeah, judgment call. Somebody here is going to be begging for a second chance. I did say we could see that. Power of number 20. That's be, yeah, yeah. Have you guys been noticing lately, every time that judgment card kicks in and Toda's barking for confirmation, that either the page of cups, <clears throat> page of cups and or the five of cups has a tendency to follow suit. Page of cups, bottom of the deck. They are coming in to bring in a rightfully owed apology, and to beg for a second chance. The ships are coming in. This person could be asking for a second chance with over the next three weeks. Look at that, bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. Power of the Numbers. That judgment card, I'm telling you, brings in somebody who is in guilt, remorse, regret. It has been piling up on them. Something here did not work out. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. I can't go for that. Mm -mm, this person has found out something. Or this person's, this person that you've been dealing with, Scorpio, their heart could end up getting broken before the holidays or right at the holidays. Because there's, there's some conflict coming in. And this person may not want to deal with this other person anymore. I say, no, they don't. Because they're already in the six, in their mindset, they're already in the six of swords mode. It's like Elvis is already checked out of the building. 
okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.